Hello guys! Today we are filming an introduction to our biggest and longest hike ever. Can you guess what it is? We are starting the sacred way of Camino de Santiago. Finally! <laughs> we finally decided to do it as we feel like it is a must for every serious hiker and it will get us closer to our goal to become a real through hikers. So we're getting really serious here. And the longest distance we did for now is only 100 kilometers. So as you might know, there are several ways, if not to say hundreds, that will take you to the final destination Santiago de Compostela. The most popular ones are French way, Northern way, Portuguese way, etc. And we chose to walk the Northern way or Camino del Norte just because we have never been on the ocean coast. Hard to believe, but that is true. So we want to really feel how it's like to be close to ocean. And secondly, this way is known to be less saturated, but yet it's very beautiful alternative to the most popular French way. And we want to show you what it's got and whether it's worth walking. The official distance is covered is 876 km starting from Arun. But we start our hike at the French city Bayun, so for us it will be around 35 km more. And we don't know exactly how long it will take us to get to Santiago de Compostela, but we'll be fine doing it in 45 days or so because we don't plan to do more than 20-25 km a day. So we start our Camino on September 1st and probably will walk until the middle of October. And as usual, we will stay in the campings or will be wild camping during all hike, so it would be a different experience from what you would normally see on Camino de Santiago. We hope it's going to be interesting and fulfilling experience for us, and we all will learn and explore something new. So, ready for the exciting trail? Let's get into it! Our Camino started today with the bus adventure. Today we have a really long bus trip. We'll have to change three buses and in order to get to our starting point in Bayona, France. And we already took one bus from our hometown Livia to Perpignan. And now we're off to the next one from Perpignan to Toulouse. And the reason why we took the bus trip because of our last minute decision to do the Camino. And you know, the time is not in our favor when you are getting the tickets, so all we had is the bus tickets available, so we took this option. But that's gonna be the adventure itself, when we're going to cross the France, the north of France, along the Pyrenees. So we're very excited about that. And today the day already started very hectic, we were almost late to our first bus, so we had to run to it. And then it turned out that we have the tickets that are two hours later than we thought. So it was absolutely unnecessary to rush, but that's okay now, we are fine <laughs> and we are off to our next bus and you are coming with us. We just got out of the bus, after 9 hours spent in the bus, it was an absolute killer. Now we're absolutely killed and exhausted and finally we arrived at our destination. But we had to ask the driver to stop at the nearest city to Bayonne, the Anglet, because here we have a cabin and at Bayonne there is no cabin whatsoever, so we had to do that. So yeah, we are absolutely killed right now hope to still check in in the camping, now it's around 10 o'clock. The last bus was an absolute disaster, very hot, with the nasty smell of the toilet. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it was, it was disgusting. And the weather is actually very warm, so it's great. Maybe we'll swim in the ocean tomorrow. Now it's time for us to go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 